All right, hello everyone, welcome back to Starfield. Today, we've still got a few missions to do. Oh, including this one, apparently. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, I want to just dock on this ship and see what the hell's going on. Don't blow up while I'm in it. Hi. Hello. Anyone in here? You okay? I have ship parts. I really should have gotten rid of. Well, that's repaired then. Uh-oh. Where the hell am we going now? Oh, up apparently. Ah, I see. Let me explore first. I'll be back. Um... And this probably makes me out to be the bad guy here, but like, I am going to try and help, right? Like, it is important. Sorry, I was uh, <laughs> watching something while I was uh, busy. Uh, while I was busy getting up those last few ship kills to get my next level piloting. Hmm. Interesting. So the one thing to fix so far. Oh damn, these are really nice big rooms. Look at this place, it's great. Okay, that's less great. There we go. That's looking fixed. Anything else around? There we go. Looks like everything's fixed. Let's go check and see how she is. Sorry, my uh, ship repairing instincts came into play. As did my loot your ship instincts. Oh, it's you. Hi. Oh, it's you. Not to try? I could definitely much. succeed. It's you, so she knows me. That's well, a nice yeah, ship. Well, you, well, you see it. Yeah. I'm not, don't worry. This old girl and I have been through a lot together. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I That's okay. I already made him make repairs. I'll be fine once the pain medication kicks in. The priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job. Already taken care of. Thanks. That should get me home. These out little ships still need to be dealt with. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that in. Just tell me ahead. They look to be heading for Polvos Moon Miyaka. I'm on They're it. Hunting. I do like me some murder. Um, committing, not being a part of. Like, not being, um, excuse me. Not being, not being murdered myself, but you know. Alright, let's go. Oh wait, sorry, one second. Some, some privacy, please. 
Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, there you are. Yes, hi. Um, welcome. I just uh, you know, need a few moments. Uh. All right. Now that was not what I was actually planning coming here. This is where I belong. I have to drop a bunch of stuff off, and I have to do so in locker. So I do it here. Then next time I upgrade my ship, all these ship parts put into my pole, even if I don't need, even if I can't use them. So uh, yeah. Oh, I still got ten more. I'll put somewhere else. I'm sure, we've got some uh, a chest somewhere else. There's a kitchen. Should wait. I can probably just drop them. I don't want to drop them. I want them to be safe. I think they were safe before. I remember that happening. Okay, or I could just put them in the storage box. If they're, they mean the okay. Okay, let's just put the ship parts in there. Like so. And then we'll also go back and throw in as many resources as we can. There we go. Hmm. Do I have any other storage bits around, bits, bits around this place? We've got some cooler there, so. There we go. Let's just put some more resources in there. There we go. Only can hold 10 at a time. That's a little bit concerning, but not surprising. I believe there's a chest in the uh, captain's quarters somewhere. Ah, there we go. And it's an actual chest too. Fantastic. There's some more way I can get some resources on this ship. There we go. Now we are as low as we can be. Which is good news. So let's go take down these pirates and hopefully have a good time. <laughs> you are very, very... Very patient for a CEO. Okay. Ships no longer dock. We're free. What's that? Pavlo. Okay. They've ever actually visited Pavlo, have I? I don't know, but mm, the star station there too. I should really explore the system better. Clearly, I've only been to Hope Town. That's about it. All right. So of course. All right. Yeah, it'll be fine. You look almost dead anyway. You want us always dead anyway. Hmm. Or maybe not, actually. Good job on your, um... I mean, I gotta say, as much as I don't want to die, you guys did a great job on your flight, um, maneuvers there. One more. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Well, that worked relatively well. Let's put the power back to grav. And then, I mean, we might as well go down and give a little search. Not that you need to be here for that. Hold up. Hold up. Anyway, where were we? That's right, going to Hope Town. That's what this loading screen's all about. Has been a while since we went to Hope Town. We'll see what there is here today. But, actually, you could repair my ship. 
Thank you. I don't want to hear any complaints. I don't want to hear any complaints. Ron hopes the best thing that's happened to us. All right. Apparently, Para likes Sam. Well, Hello. I'm just gonna be like, uh, well, I'm just gonna just take a picture here. It's just, uh, always something good going on around here. There we go. Let's just get so this guy in the background is in this picture. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Well, me and your boyfriend. There we go. So, but we and my boyfriend, me and your, um, your boyfriend Sam, are on town today. <laughs> that should be fine, right? I mean, there's not much here really without the factory, is there? Like, there's not very much of a town here. <coughs> I doubt we can get a part two of any of these missions, so. Excuse me. Dude, you do know your cell door is open. Could just. Could just leave. Could just go. Just walk out the door. It's like, let me show you. Oh, I'm free! Oh, I'm not. Free. Ah, uh, now I'm in the in the in the in the house, doghouse. No, no. Okay, okay, fine. Off -worlders. Off -worlders. I mean, I did steal an awful lot from you guys. Yes. Hello. Yes. What? So you come to the gun store? Or another board tourist? Or another board tourist? I mean, I could trade. What are you looking for? Well, it depends. Do you have any advanced guns I might be interested in? Preferably ones that are rarer than... No. Oh, well, you might have some ammo for me, though. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Well, good for you, I suppose. Wait, did I have anything to sell you? Hopefully something catches your eye. Now Paris found that scary ship in Schrodinger. <laughs> Good luck. I've been thinking about you. I like it here. I like it here. Very few rules. People know how to look the other way. And so many strangers coming in. Do you agree? Discretion. I have a Discretion. I have a small... Sure, I'll do it. Discreet. I know I didn't say that before, but the package is contraband. The authorities find it. If the authorities find it, it will not be good. Not be good. Space for if your ship has cargo. space for special cargo, then getting through security will be much easier. Uh, I not know yet, actually. If you upgrade your ship with shield, if you upgrade your ship with shield. Yeah, well, I had a feeling that was what that was. All right, hello. You made it. Those outlaws didn't you made get it. Too much trouble. Nah, Those outlaws didn't get too much trouble, I trust. First things first, how are you feeling? All right, well, I mean, me. no trouble at all. They actually didn't. Softened them up for you. You got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The marshal sends his regards along with the papers on your case. I was surprised to tell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Give me a second. Apparently, Paris Fall didn't fall in that ship either, which is interesting. No. No. 
and I can't get answers as to why not. I'm sure Mr. Hope has his reasons. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. I mean, I've already been up there before, but sure. They deserve trucks in space. Oh, their motto always cracks me up. I do like. Actually, it's a really good motto, to be honest. Damn hero in my book. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, this reminds me. I did also get my piloting upgrade, didn't I? So I can probably upgrade my engine. Now what happened to my second cargo hold? I had two of these, didn't I? Oh no wonder my cargo's been so light on. I thought I had a second one of those. Oh well, hold on. We'll get a, we'll get a bigger one, I'm sure, because we got okay the Polo cargo hold or the Galleon two o three. We don't have Starship Find three, so we can't actually get that yet. Oof. Okay, let's just get the um the Galleon cargo hold again, the second one. Of course, we need to flip it, but there we go. Not sure, what happened to that? But yes, can I upgrade my reactor now? If I delete this and I go here to reactors, can I get myself a better reactor now? It's a B class reactor. No, B classes for 24 power. Now that one requires both free piloting and two ranking of that, so repair rates are slightly higher, reactor health is slightly higher. Hulls higher. Honestly, it looks just better, full stop. Doesn't even look like reactor, to be honest, but okay. That's cool. It's cool, 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 cool. And then we've got a grav drive we could probably upgrade as well. Okay, we've got B here as well, I assume. Can't do C, but. That's 73. That's 90. That's smaller, 30, 180. Honestly, do I really need a massive 33? Probably don't necessarily need a massive jump drive. Let's get that one for now. All right, that's fine, that's fine. What else can I get now? I've got uh, this additional thing. What else is a ranked based one? Those are not ranked, I don't think. Let's see. Let's see. So Habs, they never rank. Stellarites, they do. Structural, they definitely won't. Bays, they don't. Cargo, nope. No ranks on cargo. Our engines do. Okay, let's have a look at these engines. Okay. So I have two at the bottom here. And they are both A rank engines, white dwarf engines. Okay. So can I delete this engine without deleting everything else? Okay, yes, there we go. Alright, so we can get a B class engine now, right? Well, there are B's. I mean, seems fairly impressive. Not sure what it'll actually do, but let's just grab a couple of those engines. They look cool. I'll give them that much. All right. Now a couple of these side engines, which we probably can just remove. I know, need some more engines. It's fine. I see some B-class side engines. Oh, wow. That seems a little bit overkill. That one's a little bit higher grade. Let's put that one on. Okay, that doesn't doesn't look right. Excuse me. Cancel.
Hey, why does this one look so different than the other one? Let's try again, shall we? Flip. Okay, what if I got to put down here as the attachment? That works better, I think. Okay. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Doesn't really do much for... I mean, mass is increasing, maneuverability is increased. All right, let's see what else we can get here. So... Hmm. See, we haven't been here really before, so... Ooh, what is that? A cargo hole. A cargo hole, that looks amazing. A 3x3 three three cargo hole. That is very impressive. What happens if I buy one of those? It's going to have to be over by one more. Why is it so big? Why, why is it not working? Sorry, I mean... It's probably not working because these things are the way. Let's just move the guns out of the way. I mean, guns are probably something else I can upgrade as well, so... Let's move those out of the way for a second here. Okay, so... Cargo haul... What does this do, and does it give me cargo? Holy hell, look at this thing. Okay. What else is there is here? Battle stations, two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. Um, we got a companion way flu shallots. Oh, that's cool. You can make some really big, big ships with this. Oh, it's got a mess hall as well. Hmm. We're in a brig and... Oh, damn. Those are all more interesting than what I've got. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I don't know. Okay, wait. How can we... Is there a bigger bridge then? Because that's big. No. Nothing bigger in the cockpit section. At least not here. Maybe there's something else somewhere else, because, uh... Oof. Um... It seems a little extreme. Uh... The ships are marching two by two. Hurrah. Hurrah. I can still put these on here, so that's fine. Okay. There's still one error, apparently. Ship exceeds mag max length, weight, weight, or hip height. I'm assuming it's width because uh, and the height. So, uh, sorry, um, length because uh, it's pretty damn big. So I'm gonna have to make it chunky boy again. So I'm gonna do this and then move these upwards, like so. Then move these in. To move everything up a little bit. I mean, there's probably a better captain's quarters I can get, so. Okay, let's reconnect everything so we can see. Also, we'll need to shield generate as well. Okay, so yeah, that's that's as high as it gets. That's as long as it gets. Gotcha, gotcha. Can I flip this? No, but two living quarters on top. That's fine. Cargo hold. Okay. Hmm, I wonder if I could remove the living hall and replace it with something else, or maybe a bigger living hall. Let's see. Let's see, they've got other three, they've got three by twos. That's a mess hall. So what if I replaced this living quarters, or move this living quarters? Ooh, actually this is... Oh, this is working. Do I really want that in my, in my land? No, but, 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 ah, oh no, 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 do not want to get rid of the massive, uh, okay, so, okay, now, the question then becomes, is there any way I can have this actually, like, fit correctly? All right, well, that's a cargo hold, we don't need another cargo hold. That is the mess hall. Do we got one that goes the other way? We do have one that goes the other way. Okay, so let's just put that one on there. Uh, put 
that one on there that's a mess hole there we go all right Ooh, and then I can store the shield generator in there although I don't need this crappy little a grade shield generator more no 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 no. I can have a crappy little b grade shield generator okay is there a crappy little b grade generator a couple of A's, a couple of B's, a couple of C's. Alright, this is only really like one choice of B. So it's going to be Shield Defender, Shield Generator, this one. Alright, so this one can now go bye bye. There we go. Now these engines, they can go up as well if I can just make them move up. Sorry, sorry. Okay, put them up. There we go. Put you up. There you go. Now the landing gears. Okay, let's put the fuel tanks in here. Make the ship a little bit more compact. Just a little bit. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Now how about guns? Because I feel like I feel like guns are good. All right, so if these are B-class guns, yeah, A-class guns, sorry. So if I take out these suppressors briefly and see if I can find any better suppressors. So once again, we can attach again and see if there's any B-class. Oh, God, there's so many guns now. Oh, there are so many guns now. Okay, so I need these to be EM. So then auto, oh, God, look at that. Oh boy. Hellion beam. I have no idea what that counts as. It says Hellion beam. It looks really good though. Okay, first things first, let's just delete all my old guns because, uh, sorry. Okay, no, not, not you. I need you. There's still no nicer cockpit I found. You are still my nicest cockpit, but all right. So what we will do is delete this, delete this. We'll move this up by one. So there, so there we go. Move this. Okay, can I go down by one? Yes, I can. All right, then we'll move this up by one. There we go. Hurrah, hurrah. Now, you know what? I reckon. What if I had this move up in general? Like so. Now, I know I couldn't get the shields necessarily like this, but hold up. Now, I know, I know I should probably hide the shield generator. I think it still will be hidden back there, but... What if I did that? Oh yeah, now that looks interesting. Actually, it looks hideous. What are you talking about? Okay, well, it looks interesting in the way that, you know, it looks like unique and different. I mean, it doesn't really look that unique. Shush! Okay, there's three warnings currently. Oh yeah, weapon assignment. Well, I, I haven't got any weapons currently. All right, now we can move this so we can't move it back. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So, we can put, no, 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 no. Oh, I got a hope landing bay. I think that's the one thing we did have hope tech before we did this. All right, can there be a way that I can sort these better? Like my price, price would be nice. I got plenty of price. I got like six hundred thousand. All right, there's C's. We don't need C's. They're all C's. Okay, so it goes in terms of the class. So these are B. So I'm guessing these are B E M's. I don't know what they are to be honest, but they are massive. That's an auto turret. It not seem that powerful, really. The Hellion Beam, though. Ooh, the Rapid Railgun Turret. Ooh. Yeah, they're all C. They're all C. Don't look at the Cs. For now, let's just get a laser up. I mean, that's got a pretty impressive range right there. The Scorch 60 Megawatt. I mean, some of them aren't facing forward, which concerns me. 
but I think those ones look pretty nice. Shield damage is high on those, which is what you expect. So yeah, I put two of those on as my there we go, first thing. There we go. Two scorches. They shall be one gun we've got. One type of gun. Now, second type of gun. We'll obviously want a uh, some for auto cannon. It gets through the hull. Rapid rail gun. Auto electron. Okay, the vanguard stuff is 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 good, but not what we want. I think we just need the auto cannons. Okay, that's a that's a pretty nice looking auto cannon. It's pretty weak, but you know that's faster still. Has a lower range though. Let's go for the K a. Okay, well then you guys have to go underneath because apparently you can't fit there, which is fine. Let's just put you underneath like the uh, like the other ones used to be. Excuse me. Can just. Okay, so. Vanguard Helgar or K. I think that is that one right at the top front looks like a good idea. All right, another one of those. Very nice. Now, for the third type of engine, the third type of power, sorry, we probably want a EM. I actually wonder if those are EM. Because they're down the bottom, which implies that maybe they're more likely to be EM. Don't really know how the E, how it works there. I mean, it's called an auto-neutron turret. I don't know if that's EM or not. That's called an eradicator, so I'm pretty sure that is not EM. Maybe they don't sell EM here. I might just have to have a couple of lasers until it's time. So I might just put one of the... Oh, I can't put the eradicators there. Neutron beams. What can I fit there? Okay, well, I can fit anything there if I just move this back a couple of ways. So, there we go. That's better. All right, so. So, let's see here. Hellion beam sounds fun. I mean, it does sound good, right? Like, the Hellion beam. It just, just sounds like a... A fearsome gun. Okay. There we go. Now. Now there's one more error. Yep. Weapon assignment. So, Hellion Beam. The pulse Auto Cannon. Auto Cannon. Sorry. Pulse Auto Cannon. Auto Cannon. And then Hellion Beam. Okay. This actually seems okay. There's no problems with it, right? Nope. Well, this is going to be interesting. Okay, last thing we need to do is, is, is apply the colors to everything. So, go here, double click. We know the deal by now. Or do we? Thought it was meant to be double left click or shift double left click, maybe. There we go, like that. Now, J for color. Step one. Step two. Step three. Okay. Oh, no. J. J. One. Two. Three. Okay. Accept. Very nice. I mean, Rice may not like the double-sided ship here, but I mean, look at it. It's got a gigantic cargo hold now. I don't even know how I'm going to get through this piece of ship. This is a hunk of ship. I mean, I can afford it, thankfully. It just used up a third of my entire payment. All right, well, I guess we exit. And we uh, accept modification. Damn. Mm. Thank you very much for Hope Tech. Everything you see around you, she built. Pretty much everyone in this town. Is it really a town or is it a corporate area? 
All I'm saying is... I will show all the respect that my persuasion minigame allows me to. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have a... Oh, Stroud. At least not that you showed me. In fact, they literally and figuratively are, so... You keep the peace, you're good in my book. People contract with scavengers, me, but that's a decision Hi. that's got to be made upstairs. And I don't mean it's supposed to shake Raph's voice. I mean, is it cheese for everyone? It's not just. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone here. We look out for our people here, Virgin. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, Dan, good to see you. I think we're Indeed. done here, Virgin. Sir. This is the deputy Hi. I told you about. I've been arrested for stealing something from you, asshole. We certainly could use mm -hmm. more of Shall we? Time is And how much cheese do we have? I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right yeah, no, out of the factory. Yeah, no, that's not great. Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. I'll give you my word on that. Results speak louder I mean. than promises. I want the thief found. And prosecuted to the full. So you want me to send him to uh, the law? I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the council. I just said of it was going to happen. I'm glad we understand each other. I'm glad we understand mm -hmm. each other. I take Ron Hope over Benjamin Bayou any day of the week. Looks like right. a good job to do. Tell me that you've at least. Tell me that you've at least got a. Something. Nope. Mm. Know what happened after the ship, was, what taken after the ship was taken doesn't concern what me. Does concern what does concern me sure this is making sure that this doesn't uh -huh. happen again. So magnanimous. Not sure. Not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Why didn't anyone report this theft? If, if word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely mm. flock to hope. And Fair. Fair. Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Holds its employees to the very, holds its employees to the very highest standards. So nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. Rest assured, if we turn, Rest assured, up, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you uh -huh. That's not useful, but anyway. No, nothing at all. No, nothing at all. It was just a standard Hope Tech card. Not that it didn't have great value. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech. 
build some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled system. You can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud <laughs> Eklund makes. We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened. And not one person seems to have seen anything Sounds like you don't have... That's both highly unlikely and more than yeah, little same. suspicious. I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen all right well that's that's all we have that's all we have very well i need you to understand something deputy this town is home to men is it really a town or a factory it's a factory with a gun shop and a tavern i provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. All right, let's fight. That. You've got a reputation for looking after your own, Mr. Hope. I'm sure the deputy here will keep that in mind. Is that so? I hmm. He doesn't exactly seem. Yeah, I didn't trust him one bit, but. I'm glad we understand. I'm glad we understand one another. I could, uh, really bend your Not now, cause that I'm in the middle of something. But sir, we have new information. Oh God damn it! <laughs> Through it last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All roads head to Neon, apparently. What we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Off world, right? Stay safe. Do you really trust that guy? Like, I don't. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. I have a little more. So, guess you're headed for Neon. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station fair. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind Jason, of place. Jalen Price, got it. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. Keep your eyes open. The question, of who the, starship thief the question of who helped the starship thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. Oh God. Everyone wants to go neon. Enjoy if you'll excuse me. I am on duty. All right, that's another quest for Neon. God, at this point, I kind of want to just keep on exploring just for the sake that I want to see how many more things will make me try and make me go to Neon. That's been good Neon. That hasn't yet. Okay, you know what? I think it's about time we do this. I know I was going to wait till after we did the uh, the pirate thing, but I haven't done that yet, and I don't know if I'm ever going to do it, so... I mean, probably will. Maybe before I go to Neon. Uh, but let's let's try this out, okay? New Atlantis is gorgeous. That's true, Sam. You did say that. What's up? I don't got many friends, so I figured. Okay. I got a level with you. My past keeps showing. Ooh, we gonna meet your partner? X. No, this is totally not cool. No, this is totally. Are we gonna meet the X that hates you? That hates me? 
That means a lot. And when I turned 18, my dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. There is a way to take the wonder out of space. It was working for that outfit. Every milligram of helium, three accounted for. Timetables down to the second. Too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. Yeah, no, it doesn't sound fun. <laughs> yeah, it's about the size of it. So an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job. Don't ask questions. Sounds good. And there's a bonus. Hell, I'm still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but suddenly, God help me, it was fun. I can see the appeal. Oh, I think he's a con. So, uh, more jobs started coming. And everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people <laughs> were much better armed. I hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons. Maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. Okay, okay, okay. Fair, fair, fair. Soon the boss man's relying on me, and the pay hmm. was nice. We also started uh -oh. playing a lot together. Hard weeks. Oh, so damn. Weeks that are blank. Never had a lick of trouble. So I did. So your boss took advantage. Sounds like your boss took advantage of you. But it takes two to tango. To this day, I don't know what I was running that last job. But it was tasty enough. A whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Yeah, a sane man would have been scared. Hmm. Yeah. I looked at my pissant trading skips. And... That sounds like what I do, oh, yeah. This is on. I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. And that should have been the end. But that's when the Rangers showed up. Oh, that, yeah. You think? Dependable and then, and dependable and straight as an arrow. Lillian Hart came on the calm, and well, it's like hearing the voice of an angel. The Rangers took them out, no problem. Oh, that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the Rangers were impressed with me. Offered me a job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but Lillian, she saw something in me, and I took the job, and that's it. All my cards okay, are on the table. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, they came all. And you're different now. I have learned a lot, fast, but the thing that scares me. It's Cora. Wait until she's a little older. Sometimes she looks I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone. But to see that look gone. Uh, when she's older and time's right, just have to tell her. Well, I ain't that something to look forward to. Just so you know, all this. Oh, does she think I'm going to drag you down a bad path again? And I really need to own that. I have a tough talk with Lily. Tell her about that follow through you mentioned. Cora's at an important age right now. Every visit counts. You can't flake on it. Well, for now, that's <laughs> like getting a root canal. Sounds good. <laughs> we probably like activities, get a root canal. And I'd be like, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, the point is telling me to go there. So, where's the nearest Reliant Medical, I suppose? God, you, you look creepy. Um, all right, damn, feels to be a long time to be here. Hello. Welcome to SSM. Welcome 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where the news never sleeps. You're part of the David Barron fan club. Don't worry, I have no idea who he is. David seems like a vain egomaniac. Looks like you know him personally. Let's take a look at you. <laughs> you you're not from it. My guess is you work. Really That's about right. for a living. I bet you have a story or two. Actually, your intern asked me to do interview. Tommy did something useful? Tommy did something useful? So you must be the captain of Not the... using that ship anymore, but yes. There was a firefight at a mining installation. I'm interested only in primary sources. So things you've seen and okay, done that are newsworthy. No hearsay. So, okay. what do you got for me? Oh, interesting. So, so I can uh, deliver multiple things? Okay, okay. Um... Crimson Fleet Technogus facility. Crimson, Crimson Fleet Brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. <laughs> Refreshing. We are mining pearly and mine some rare minerals. Easy credits for them. Rare minerals, you say? That would be worth the price of admission. So what's your role in all this? Um, <laughs> I work for Argos, now with Constellation. Not going to give it too much detail. So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners try I mean, I killed a whole lot of them, but no, these um, miners great band together and fought them off with mine lasers. How heartwarming. Constellation banding together with some dusty miners. I like it. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more oh, sizes, like this, you tell them so? drop by. And feel free to cover any incidentals or other creative ways oh, to Oh, thank you. Though it's not very much, but I guess I would have done that at the start of the game. Yours is bad. Oh, it's Gal Bank Robbery. I'm surprised that branch has any customers left the number of times it's been held up. But I thought the Rangers had finally managed to get a handle on it. I heard there was a standoff. Yes, there was a standoff. Um... <laughs> My first time there, too. Oh, wow. That is good. Well, later I killed them all, but... Uh... Marsha and I worked together and the gang were all arrested. Sincerely is thankful for your assistance. These things are often messy. Any customers or gal bank staff get hurt? Thankfully, uh, no casualties. Where's the good news? In fact, not even they got killed. Well, you were there. You were involved in resolving it. Any comment on the Freestar Rangers? Having another high profile robbery. Um, desperate people do desperate things. Rangers kept them turning into massacre. Oh. That's really good to know. Stories like this always fire up public outrage and appetite. The truth is probably for the interview. too boring for her, but that's okay. You have story what stories are you working on? I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Huh, I just helped out that. Are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. I could do some. I could go down there for some. He said it's too dangerous. It'd probably be all for it if David. I'd asked. be willing. Are you really? I'd be really. I'd owe you big time if you did. You've been a huge help on my other stories. I'd love to help. I'm sure, you'd do great. Do it done. I should have said kill Yep. The owner of Hayes House. Yep. Grant at Apex Electronics. Sounds good. O'Shea from the Med Bay. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing. Certainly. And how things are in the well. I really can't thank cool. you enough. How can get paid? I spread the news. It's a classic win. We're short-staffed, overworked, and trying to report on a million things at once. 
Not to mention there's a constant battle with the powers that be to maintain our journalistic principles. So things are so just I guess we're gonna be a reporter today. Dear Lord, everyone wants <sighs> is way too damn cozy with a UC. And that's a problem for us being impartial. My biggest beef with him is he's credited with everything he reports, and he doesn't lift a finger uh, to correct that impression. I'll say so. See each other again. We're close to you ever. Find yourself with a hot lead. We will do our best to protect you. Hello. Yes, sir. Oh, interesting. This end is supposed to be impartial, but I think the UC's got a finger on the scale. Well, it sounds like it's just uh, just that one guy. If we could get rid of him, I mean, if we could. Uh, Talk to him, you know. Interesting, interesting. Well, I guess we better go down to the, uh, down there, I suppose. Now, I know we can get there from Mass, so that's probably the easiest way to right next door. We don't need to go on the train, that's going to be unneeded loading time. But I gotta say, I wasn't expecting more quests here, so, uh, that's good at least. This is the thing, there's always going to be more stuff around, I think, and that's, that's nice. Alright, so we're going to go down here, we're going to do our interviews, and then we're probably going to be sent to Neon for a report. I know how this goes. Every, all roads lead to Neon. I wonder if I miss you again. Everything's like, you need to go to Neon, you need to go to Neon. <laughs> Have you thought about going to Neon? Even people on the bloody, um, Reddit post are like, Things really get good when you get to Neon. I'm enjoying it now, to be honest. And I haven't even touched Neon yet. Hello. I'm going to at some point, maybe. Hello. I've got limited resources, but I try not to turn anyone away just because. Well, that's what I'm here for. for your just estimate. take care of everything. Yes, yes, it's fine. Now. That's a journalist. That's a surprise. Most people don't think anything that goes on in the well is worth it. Oh. Be happy to help. How are things go at the Med Bay? Things are always rough at the Med Bay. Things are always rough at the Med Bay. I'm the closest thing to a doctor that the well has, and I can't treat everyone. The last few weeks has been especially bad. Some kind of infection going around. That's not good. A lot of kids down here are catching it. Just takes an hour. I'd be happy to help you out then. There might be something you can hey, do. more you quests! Let's try to get you to have some time to spare, right? What can you, will you tell me about more about yourself? Sure. All right. Well, if you'd like. My name's Talia. I was born and raised right here in the well. I've been the nurse here at the Med Bay for over a decade now. Once upon a time, I was a combat. Once upon a time, I feel I like I've got to do all this stuff made. for them before the article comes out. Have a good news story. Things are always the same in the well. Violent and dangerous. I swear I treat more injuries here than I did when I was a Navy medic. Well, that should be enough to go on, but... Well, yeah, you said about how I could help you or something. I'd love to help. We're doing the best we can here. Oh, do you remember? Mm -hmm. All the children seem to have the same stomach bug, but I'm having trouble diagnosing it. Okay. Pediatrics isn't my specialty. But one of my colleagues, Dr. Lebedev, is an expert. If I had his research notes, I'm sure I could diagnose Sounds the good. disease Where is and he? find a treatment. Can you tell me more about the situation? I've seen an uptick in cases of sick children in the med bay recently. They all seem to be presenting the same symptoms. I can't identify the cause. It isn't serious enough hmm. to kill them, but I haven't That's found concerning. treatment yet. That's yeah, if it gets worse. We work top side okay. at Reliance Medical. It's easy to find. Right between Mast and Orion Tower. Dr. His name Lebedev is odd, but is sure, there. I can get notes for you. So much. I really appreciate it. I'd go myself, but I can't leave the yes. on attendance. I'll she'll do that. Um, well I guess we'll go to the next thing now. I right, got someone over here. At the Apex Electronics. Here we go. We've been here a few times before. Hello. Okay. 
I don't have to pay. You I mean, you know like... who I am. I've been here a few times now. Everyone should know who I am, but anyway. A reporter. Yeah. A reporter. But I'm only talking baseball. Okay. How are things going in the well? Like you tell me about myself? I own, Apex Electronics. I own Apex Electronics. That's all I'm willing to say to some things going. Door still. That's my idea. Sorry if you were hoping for something. I mean, that's not much to go on, but okay. Now, why don't you help me out and buy some? It's a queen shop. Okay. Last person. Everyone's welcome. So Hello. You to keep your hands to yourself. What's the story about this place? Here. It's on us. Mom, that's Kay. She gets all the credit. Started making sure people felt welcome back when I was just a kid. She had one rule. No causing trouble. Everyone abided by it. But their differences aside when they came through the door. After a few years of feeding so many mouths, we needed extra credits to stay afloat. Didn't mean for this to turn into a business, but... Here we are. If folks are willing to pay a little to have some place to feel safe and get a decent meal, Fair well enough. then we'll sure take it. Absolutely. I'm sure my mom would be proud to have the place featured in I the think market. so well. Same as ever? Same as ever? The UC government promises to clean the place up every couple of years, but there's still just as much crime and poverty as there was when I was a kid. That's why Kay's house is so important. It's the one okay. place people in the well feel safe. Yeah, sure thing. I'm yeah, sure thing. I'm Teresa Mason, and this is my home. My mom's the K who founded K's house. I grew up here along with the business. Mm -hmm. My mom passed the place on to me when she decided to retire. Running it is my pride and joy. I've put everything I have into it. Business is steady, as usual. We don't tolerate violence or disrespect. A lot of folks like to spend time here. The only thing okay. that's worrying me is a new group of customers that's been hanging around lately. They've been watching. That the UC sounds like some criminal activity. Of a bad thing, they might be planning something. Well, Kay's house has a reputation as a safe place. Just so happens, I'd be happy to look into it. I'd feel terrible if something happened and I hadn't done anything to try to stop it. Why don't you come by when you have That's more than enough to go on to. Let me know when the article comes out, will you? I'd like sure, to read but... It. If you haven't, make sure you... Would you? I'd really appreciate it. I saw them hanging around the UC surplus earlier today. All right. It looked suspicious to me. What well, is their art design? They've been doing so regularly for the last couple of weeks, and all they do is sit on the balcony and watch say. the UC surplus. But I'm not sure. They seem to know I'm onto them, so if they stop talking about it, all right, around. I'll take care of it. That's not how I want this handled. Kay's place is if anyone's going to handle them, but I have to be sure they're up to something before I get the authorities in. Why don't you do a little sleuthing for me? Maybe you'll have better luck eavesdropping on them than I did. We can decide what to do once we figure well, out. I mean, hopefully, a persuasion up. check. I like persuasion checks. All right, well, I guess we'll do that one first, because we're right here. Also, I wonder if that... Uh, it's been a while since we've been here. I wonder if that um, pad respawned. I wonder if we could sell it twice. You know why this place has stood for so long? I make sure everyone's comfy. I tell it like it is, and I don't hmm. take any shit. Very fair. wonder what Para thinks of Kay. Alright, well, let's see what happens here. Don't take it personal. Don't take it personal if I don't stop to chat. Lots of tears, but not too many. I don't know, Isaac. I don't know, Isaac. It's the top joint to crack. That's just what they want you to think. Dum -dum -dum. Now, this place is 
she was giving us some serious no. side eye last time we were in there. No time like the present. See, no time like the present. We'll do it tonight. We'll be fine, trust me. We'll be in and out in time to make last call with Jace. If we can make this happen, we'll be real big shots around here. I sure hope we make it happen. Hey, I thought you were on my side here. <laughs> yes, I know. Info is good, so be a peacemaker. That's a pretty big if. That's gonna go on that loop forever. Or not? This is still going. Okay, there we go. I mean, they do realize I've already stolen most of everything in here. Oh, never mind. They actually seem like they've restocked them. The barista screws up my order. It's like I'm walking under ladders with a broken mirror in my pocket. And the only time it happens is when I'm wearing your boots. So, what do you want me to do about it? I want a damn refund. Fine, fine. I'll take the boots back. They could just walk in. I couldn't help but overheat in that argument. I hate to admit it, but she has a point. She's the third customer to return the pair, all for the same reason. The boots might really be. Cursed. Okay. Try wearing the boots yourself. But then I thought better of it. Best not to tempt fate. Hmm. And besides, they're not my size. It's a coincidence. Somebody might, and that's bad for business. Hey, you're a pilot, right? Maybe you can. I've heard of a UC station at the far end. Yeah, of the I've been there. I think. Called the Den. I'll stash these boots in a crate, and I'll give you credit. Uh, as a sure. Someone to give these blasted boots the boot. Here, I'll have your credit for you when the job is done. They're called lucky boots. Apparently, can't wear them, so that's a shame. Oh well. Another quest for me. Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, you're right. People definitely play the world, do you see? <laughs> that, that lady behind you seems to care. We have to get the authorities involved before they can go through with the robbery. You should take this straight to Officer Endler at the security Okay. Office. He'll look into it. If he gives you a hard time, tell him I sent you to make the report. That'll get him on your side. Mm, I'll take care of a couple of your fees. No, I don't want you to hurt them. The last thing the well needs is more. Okay. Though I am curious what does happen if I confront the fees. I could probably convince them with persuasion. We'll be fine. I'm not a fan of nosy strangers. Hey, if I gotta tell you to get out of here one more time. I didn't get involved. What if we would? So what if we would? Careful, Isaac. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That seems a little hasty. Is that a threat, pal? Fine. But only because I don't want to go back to the place, huh? I give you credits. We called the whole thing off and you... Hmm. Yeah, I can't say I feel the same. I guess I know. I feel like I want them to be arrested, though. Like, I don't need 2,000 credits from them. Let's, uh... Let's go get them arrested. So I am sad that entire thing was done without a persuasion check. Hello. Hello. 
Hello, hello. Something I can help you with. <sighs> well, that's what we're here for. What's going on? Let's go get Robert UC Surplus. You sure about that? It's been a long time since yeah, it was me. stupid enough to rob that place. That's so. That's so. <laughs> Nobody in the well is more reliable than Teresa. If she says there's a problem, I believe it. You can tell her I'm personally looking in. Those thieves won't be so cocky with the security on patrol. Okay. Don't know if that actually solves the problem or not, to be honest, but okay. Security should already be on patrol. That was quick. How'd things go with Officer Emma? Well, he said he's gonna pa patrol the area. Something twice about trying anything with security in the area. Thanks for your help with this. Okay, well, there. I don't know if that'll stop him or not, really, but anyway. Oh well, next quest. I try to let's go to the uh, relatable qu care quest next. All right. Oh, we're here. Oh, what a beautiful place to look into it. Well, I mean, I haven't exactly gone up from this location before, but if we can get down from here, surely we can get up to here from here, right? Like, just got to try and climb this wall. How hard could it be? Yeah, I admit, probably not on the right side of things to actually climb stuff. Wait, is that the... That's the, um... What's his face? Yes. That's the, um, shipping bay. That's the entrance way. That's fine. Now, I could just use the fast travel point. I probably should just use the fast travel point, but... What if I was to jump? I feel like at a certain point, I'm probably taking more effort doing this than I would just by using the fast travel, but you know, an emergency is emergency. Okay, we're on the tree. We're on the strangely thick and, and load-bearing tree. Uh, it's not surprising that the tree itself is load-bearing, but it is surprising that the branches in the tree are that load-bearing. That thick and lusciously. Good trees, I suppose. All right. Don't, don't I remember I get a little bit further up? Let's see. Okay, hold it. Oh, that was so close. Okay, just need to scarum, jump my way. Okay, maybe this way won't work. Um, well, it does look like it's actually working up there. That's back where my parents were. If I ran and jumped directly across here, which I don't need to do this way because literally there's another, oh no, what have I done? Oh no, my choices are bad. Oh god, I'm... Oh, never mind, I'm fucking best. Um, no, but there's no way around. So... Two, three, four. There we go. Whew. Okay. Yeah. This is the sort of thing they'd write news articles about, I'm sure. Some crazy guy trying to scale the... Scale the wall into New Atlantis. I mean, if I was a bad guy, the effort I'm taking right now would be well and truly noticed. But if I'm a good guy, then I'm just penetration testing, and it's all fine. Problem is, they probably don't know what I'm doing, but that's okay. For all they know, I could just be coming up here for a nice look. Which, honestly, it would be a pretty nice look. But, uh, no. So try and get over there if we can, but I think we might need to stop on the way. Okay. Some of these places are pretty far apart. In fact, I'm starting to doubt my ability to get up here and stuff. Oh, no, 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 no,
Okay, hold it. Just keep walking. Okay, now one, two, three, four, and we're not there. We're never there. Okay, okay. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, buddy, buddy. Okay. You know what? 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 I'm okay with uh, a little bit of fast travel. <laughs> But I don't think it's due to lack of like that is the programming. Like I don't think it's like trying to hide a loading screen, right? I'm sure there's a way up there when I'm not like consistently. Anyway, let's go to Reliant Medical, which should be over here. I wonder when and if we get UC citizenship so we buy houses we've already bought the houses in uh, we already bought the houses well some houses in Freestar Collective not that we can use them but we've obviously got our house back at um, you know home which is fine this is the place that we haven't explored All right, anyway, it's fine. Let's go into Ryan Medical. Get the information we need. Let me go back in that clothing store. I feel like we really need to find something other than... Gotta call someone's power kept going. All right. Then we go get something other than a, a hazmat suit to walk around in, but anyway. Hi there. I may or may not have broken legs. That needs to sell switch me. Actually, Nurse O'Shea helped me, so ask me. Well, she says there's some children of course a stomach bug. Well, we can't have that. I'd be happy to help. Let's see. A stomach bug. I've treated plenty of those. I keep extensive notes. I'm sure I have something that can help. Ah, here we go. This should do the trick. I've uploaded some of my notes on common stomach issues in pediatric patients. Awesome. And give her my I hope everything works out oh, for those kids. Nice guy. All right. Wait, we did this a med kit in the Reliant Medical, right? I guess if no one's there, they can take it as a, you know, but would you, you can't take it because it's kind of stealing. Maybe it doesn't for UC um, people. All right. Oh, let's look in here. Okay. You won't find a larger array of options in all the settled systems. Let's just see what you've got. At the moment, I'm literally just wearing a, uh, okay. They're all crappy in terms of, ooh, 5% persuasion chance. Okay, well, that's pretty useful. Ooh, they all do persuasion chance. Shame they're a little bit more powerful. I mean, I was just talking about how I'm going into, uh, and need more persuasion. Ooh, that one looks pretty cool. I like that one. Gotta um, dress for the job you want, not the job you have, right? Yeah, let's buy one of these expensive corporate executive outfits. Thank you. See you again. And now I shall put this on. Give myself a higher chance. Oh, persuasion though, I'm not sure how it works underneath my uh, mantis suit. Okay, so we can give them notes over, which we probably should do straight up. Then we should go back and give the notes. Um, then we should go do the give away the boots. I feel like that's going to destroy the system. If, if what they say is about luck is true. Why do you specifically choose the den instead of somewhere else? 
I don't know. All right, wait a bit more. Hi, Hadrian. Don't mind me, Hadrian. It was. Incredibly so. I'm in great amounts of pain right now. That's why we have jetpacks. So when we sprain our legs due to the jetpacks, we don't need to be on the legs for as long. Alright, let's help these kids out. Hello. Three gunshots this week alone. Three gunshots this week alone. I guess we know where UC security's priorities are. I'm telling you. Really? To be able to afford a trident. Ah, oh, this is perfect. I knew Dr. Lebedev would have what I needed. I'll have this solved. Well, Lebedev seems like a very good, good doctor. You are welcome. All right. Next, let's go to Den. This should not take long. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like, I told you to go out and get um, some... I told you to go out and get some... Uh, some interviews, not save all the save the world. Come on, come on, there we go. Once I find out time finish the series, there'll be the DLC out, and I just still have like 20 episodes left in back back order. I don't know, probably. Hello. Hello. Alright, Sam, let's go. Hey, uh, nice set of boots you got. I'll give you say five hundred. I'll give you say five hundred credits for them. It looked better on me anyway. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want these boots. I don't know. It looks like they're perfect, but fine. You gotta probably take the boat boots anyway. You stuff those boots in one of Orville's crates, they'll never see the light of day. Should have sold them to me. Truth is, I don't need new boots. I just need a change. The monotony in this. Yeah, well, the boots would have killed you, apparently. You stuff those boots in one of Orville's crates, they'll never All right. Oh, that's a good point. They do have medical personnel. Or not? Oh, thank God. And then. Well, Vanguard. Okay, well, nothing too crazy there. I assume the sprain will fix itself. The sprains usually do. I'll just check to see if anyone has any quests before I go back. Fancy seeing you here. Time what? I tell you, this place You are everywhere, Bill. Ever run into spacers? Scumbag. Oh, hello, you've got a name. Okay. Uh -huh. Name and someone I've already talked to before. Okay. Well, time to get back. Is that course? Yes, indeed. I wonder if I don't need two, two fuel tanks anymore. Like, I'm clearly going further than I need. I probably don't need a second. If 
probably would have landed anyway, but sure, thank you. All right. We'll go to Mast. And we'll jump down to uh, the well, then we'll go back up. Probably gonna talk to that Kelton Frash guy too, huh? How many levels will I get before I re have to go Neon? I'm almost level 40, it's kind of, kind of almost sad. Alright, let's go. And claim this quest. And go back and get this thing reported on. Hopefully with positive news stories such as a stopped robbery and a bunch of children being fixed. And no longer being, like, in pain. And something about some boots? I, I don't know how that one's going to go in there, but sure. Okay, well, they're gone, so that's something. Hello. Trust me, the real new Atlantis is down here. Yes, you did. You know how I know? The rain cloud over I your don't head know is what all but gone. Here, for your hard work. With a lady lock back on my side, I expect the business to be less Okay, sure, bud. Okay. You know what? I'll do anything which uh, gets me payment, I suppose. Oh, and actually, okay, no, they didn't give me upgrade, I'm guessing. It just, um, right, it's fine. This is the worst possible exit I could have used. That's okay. Space War is one place I don't need to be. But oh well. Oh, too far away. Everything in the sea is pretty easy to get around to, which is nice. Like, I know people complaining about not having a map, but I do admit there are parts of this I wish I had a map. Especially Kilo. I still don't know if I fully explored a Kilo or not. But, um, in general, I think I know my way around, uh, around here now, which is pretty good. I do appreciate that. It's nice to have a old, good old fashioned sort of thing, like. Alright. I'm not. No. Nope. Wish I could go with you on your ship. Hello there. Really surprises me. You talk and get paid. I spread the news. Hey, that's great. It is fine. I'm looking forward to you. I'm looking forward to you. I can't thank you enough for helping me out. I'll send you a copy of the story if it gets published. There's True. Nothing like seeing your name in print. Yeah, we should probably go talk to our parents again, shouldn't we? See if they've got anything more to add. Um, and then we'll go and deal with this other problem to do with the singing trees. Because honestly, he was he was acting like it was the end of the world more than the bloody um, death claw person was. I replied to this job. It was the first thing it told me to go Neon. It's fine, it's fine. Well, that's good. That's all. Like, either, they, either they let me into the um, archive or I steal my way in there. I sneak my way in there. I've got like a lot of sneak. Oh, what? Oops. It's weird to me we can't swim, like, at all. I guess I just wanted to get rid of that whole concept. Probably saves on a lot of performance. Let's make sure my exploration. What is this? We 
We have been up here before, right? Yes, we have. And yeah, nothing's changed. Not even a duck for the, for us all. Nope, it's not the place. Yeah, I just, it's, it is funny. I just spent all that time being like, oh, I know exactly my way around. I do know approximately where my parents are. They're over near landing bays, but the problem is I don't fully in... I mean, I do know approximately where that is. Let's see. I'm still just like exploring for the most part as well. See if anything else pops up, but I really shouldn't. You know what? Let's just go back to where they are. Which is, I think, on the other side. Or we can just use the fast travel network to get straight to the, um, the um, area. I just need to make sure they got back from the zoo, all right? All right. Here we go. Guys, back at home. Hello. Your mother has missed you. Okay, okay. Like a lot. So much to do in New Atlantis. Feel free to grab anything you need. One of your old classmates. Grab anything you need. I did. I grabbed the duck. It's fine. In fact, I might just check to see if you, if you bought more ducks or not. Um. Okay, I don't see anything. They weren't here to begin with, but still. Hello. That city bank robbery story on SSN. Yep. That was you, right? <laughs> of course it was. Oh, I was so proud of my child. <laughs> Multiple times. Yep. You were dealing with bank robbers? <laughs> I was such a good guy. I just took him down. Aww. Aww. Sorry, I talked with Linda. Aww. Aww. Across the hall, and she didn't believe me. I swear, our friends think we're making you up. I almost want you to show up in your final <laughs> little poker night, just so I can show them. I can show up my freestyle ranger badge too, if you'd like. Wait, you're a ranger too? <laughs> and in the vanguard? Where? <laughs> but next time. Let us know you got a story coming on. Yeah, so. <laughs> Aww. I mean. How are you doing? Not bad. Well out there? It's easy just to survive off, well, garbage when you're shipbound all the time. A lot of time I don't eat at all, actually. Nothing like your famous nachos, Dad, but I get by. I do what I can. You remember Grandpa's restaurant? Of course I do. You, were there, you must have been five, eight. Some of the best food in the galaxy. Service with a grunt and a glare. <laughs> but Dad's food kept them coming back. <laughs> His food was like, like incredible. Hole in the walls have the best food. That's just science. <laughs> Your grandfather taught me what I know of cooking. He didn't want me to go to uni. I was the only one interested in the restaurant. But when he got on in the years, he trusted me with something sacred. His meatloaf. Oh. Oh, wow. Are you making meatloaf tonight? No, I'm not. Something better. I don't know if anything I taught you about cooking stuck, but I figured... <gasps> oh. You gotta promise not to share Grandpa's meatloaf recipe with anyone it stays in the family mm -hmm, mm -hmm. come back and strike me dead if you did that 
I solemnly got promised to guard that secret of my life, Dad. Any meat will do. If it's dry, extra tomatoes. They'll moisten it up if you do it right. Sorry. Bit of a moment here. So, uh, you want to talk about anything? Take care, kiddo. Nice to see you, son. Aww. You're doing well. And none of that... I'm fine, Dad. Aww. Really, answer. How are you? <sighs> hmm. I can't imagine. I read the news, but you're living it sometimes. <laughs> and reporting on Lost. And I'm sure some terrible people. Yeah. Like me, sometimes. There are so many. It's dizzying to keep track of. Yeah, that's why we have a <laughs> mission list. You might take on more than you can deal with. Yeah, I doubt it. All that risk and danger. I feel like I'm making a real difference. It most certainly does. I got some years on it. My guiding star has always been find something you believe in and fight for it. For me, it's you and your mother. Every time big life decisions came up, that's what made it easy. What would be best for all of us? If you can strip away everything and answer that one question, well, it helped me. Makes sense, Dad. It's what I'm here for. It's Aww. like I have you home. How many more things do you have to talk about? Because you have a lot more to talk about than Mum does. It's good. Well, it's all. Well, good to visit again. Just making sure you haven't went and purchased any more ducks. Just, uh, you know how it is. I didn't even notice that note when I first came in here. Nothing wrong with my perception. Not one bit. When I go to sleep, I got a clean conscience. Working for them, it would be hard to look myself in the mirror. You are still all right with that? The signing bonus alone. I love you all the more, Nicole. The house feels alive again now that you're here. I'm planning a grocery run like talking with you has made my day. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you later, guys. See you later. Gonna go save the world again. Well, that was nice. I liked it. I liked that, that was actually worth doing. And got a meatloaf recipe. All right. That's neon. That's not neon. That's neon. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why am I still with that there? That's weird. Okay. All right. I guess it's time we go talk to this guy. Because honestly, I'm surprised that um, this guy is still only just a... A, a bit character, not like his own mission, because he was talking about the trees being dangerous or something. Have we been to the Apollo Tower? I don't know. Ah. And we can afford it. Mercury is much too you're not here for the so many of the eight floor floor. Floor. Cookie cutter. Recalling this. Got the mortgage approval signed by mortgage. Nothing good Excuse comes me. from the well. Okay, this is a shop again. This is a place we can buy live in, apparently. That's a good point. I should go to Mercury and see how it is. But then again, like, I feel like, realistically, Venus was much more pleasant than I was ever expecting it could be. Like, Venus is basically just, like, a massive 
greenhouse, right? And yet I could walk on it and fly in it just fine. I know technology's gone up in the world, but like you wouldn't think it'd be up that high. Venus is pretty crazy, unless we did something to reduce or remove the greenhouse effect. Hi, Sam. Hello! Huh. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Last time I saw you were pretty agitated. I had good reason to be distressed. You had already helped me establish that there is something unprecedented going on with this tree. Now my superiors have been made Okay. Aware. There is growing concern. Oh my. That's <laughs> an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. Okay. Conditions coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. It seems unlikely it would go up infinitely. I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have... There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring them. Okay. For, for personnel issues, if you understand. I do not. Oh, jilted lover. What? No, that is ridiculous. I am a professional. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye. And so far, he's refused to turn it over to me. Uh -huh. I think that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. Hey, I'll go for it, but... I hope his eyes the importance of science. Cool. Emilio may work for Mast, but he's not much of a scientist. <laughs> I dare say you're ten times the scientist oh, he's ever been. Thanks. In any case, whether you open his eyes or not, I need that data. I hope that I get to persuade him. With collecting samples in the field. He shouldn't be hard to find. Good luck, friend. That data is vitally important, and I'm confident that you'll be able to retrieve it. Okay. And does this mean it's actually turned into a quest now? It has turned into a quest. Fantastic. That's actually really good, because I was wondering when it would turn from an activity to a task. All right. So when it said field, does it mean field? Nope, it means just outside the, the lodge. We should go back to the lodge at some point too. Not that there'll be many people there at the moment. I also should go see if I can get some more powers. Hello there. Mind your step. Important research happening here. Uh huh. <sighs> Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. I know I need a tree. Trees? Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. Uh, what's your problem with Kelton? Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not... Oh, God. You should be the bigger man here. Oh yeah? You think so? Uh he re hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a no. from that. What do you want me to do? You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time. Oh god damn it. That sounds shady. Well, then I guess we don't have any tea around. Changed your mind, did you? Wait, really? I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a back door into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel. Oh, God. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. You don't know, like this guy. 
criminal in her apartment, which is kind of lost. I probably already be out there, to be honest. How about you just give me Kelton's daughter now and we skip the rest? That's not on the table. I mean, any corroborating data from other individuals of the same species, even small sapling, will help. Someone else can spend time examining shrubs. This gotta be working. Like the sound. Maybe. Okay, look, look. Just hear me out, all right? I really need this to happen. If you do this for me, I can make it worth your while. You delete that data. I get promoted. I'm pulling in a bigger salary. I can compensate. I'll throw in some extra credits for you. <sighs> a nice little bonus. But first, you need to get into the chief engineer's apartment. Fine, fine, you win. Just get out of my sight. And tell Kelton to stop it. God damn, what a dick. I'm glad I didn't get him up in the world like that other fudging miner. Have a good one. Well, for the persuasion minigame, though. I hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. I do. And Amelia is a real piece of work. He is. I'm sorry that you had to put up with him, but this data is vital. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later, particularly in a legal setting. Don't worry. So if I'd better verify the data, make sure you. But you have once again come through for me. Just doing my part. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your... Okay. Thank you again for getting the data from Emilio. I know he can be a pain. Again, don't tell me how you got this slate from Emilio. I mean, I literally... He wanted to... He wanted me to hack his, his things... Um, his, his, uh, lead, his person's computer, but I didn't do it. Now, it, it also makes me realize I haven't really look, spent that much time looking around UC yet. Like now I'm part of them, you think I'll be able to go in? Congratulations on joining the ranks of the Vanguard. Oh, there's a lot here. Part simulator, NAT station, central command. Okay, let's go to these last three, because they're the ones I don't think we've been to yet. If there's any quests, I'd like to do them too. Oh, well, this is actually central command, isn't it? Hey. Is that? Okay. No, it's not. Okay. Hi. Can I walk in to Central Command? I feel like I shouldn't be able to walk into Central Command. I mean, I know I'm part of the Vanguard, but... Ooh, I lost Heritage. Now that... Okay, why does the Earth have to be evacuated? What? You know that's illegal. Yes, Sam, I know it's illegal. Why are you asking me this question, Sam? I know it is. Alright. Alright, cool. Well, that's the first thing. Got a new quest from it. Alright, do you guys not mind if I'm in here? You see, might have a few less problems if the Marines were deployed a little more often. Okay, well, you Hi. like war. That makes sense. You are who you are. Okay. I mean, no one seems to care that I'm in here, strangely enough. And security is a little lax, to be honest. Pardon. We can find something here. I honestly just feels like it's a bunch of... Uh... There's not really much here besides um, people just... Doing functionary work, office work. Oh, here we go. Tenant and commander of systems defense, so they're not here currently. It's actually pretty barren here at this time. I wonder if I could just sit around till morning. But it feels like they must be all asleep or something. Let's uh, wait till morning.
All right, one more hour. Okay. So it should be morning now. And no one's at work still. God damn. Our military must always be at the ready. But in my opinion, it should also I just say a lot more. Assault. I agree. I totally agree with you, General Zhao. Thank you very much for saying the exact opposite of what this lady does. Okay, well, it's interesting to talk to them, but, uh... Just admit... I'm expecting something a bit more here. But no, it looks like most people are out. I guess they only come in to work when they're needed. Sure, we'll come back there one day, but anyway. Let's go up to Aegis. Now, we have been to one of these floors before. I'm pretty sure it is this one, because we had to return to Aegis once before. But I don't think we actually went that far. I think we went through here. And spoke to our friend. Hello. It is surprising how many people need to be reminded to go in for regular medical checkups. Yeah, that makes sense. Even they don't have to pay for it. People don't want to think about that sort of stuff. Attempt to steer this nation from bureaucracy towards doing something useful for its citizens. My background is in medicine, but I like to think I've graduated from helping one patient at a time to, well, all of them at once. I really do. No group has done more for humanity than the United Colonies. It is gratifying to be a part of that. Keeping our citizens in good health is vital to our continued success. I'm just looking around for quests anyway, and uh, rare loot. Um, so don't mind me. I should be going to Neon, where I can actually commit crimes and it'd be requested, rather than just me like picking stuff up randomly. Okay. Now, I doubt I'll be able to walk straight into Aegis. Nope, apparently I can walk straight into Aegis. Yeah, I did come in here once for this, where the doctor was, right? Relaxed, quiet, safe, secure. Just how I like it. May I help you? Thanks again for recovering my sleep. Okay, I was hoping you'd add some more for me, but apparently not. So it's good to see that you're doing your job. Why'd you do that to my friend Wilby? How could you? I've got two system surveys and a computational analysis waiting on me. Some other time, maybe. Hmm? Okay. And this way we haven't been. Oh, wait, no, I think we did come here once. <clears throat> it's a good thing they're pretty good on uh, keeping their crap out or not. Hey. Hello. Hi. I'm here for quests and loot. Mercy quest. War, of course, helps the security of the United Colonies. Is what are you doing here? Responsibility. I'm the acting head of Aegis, the intelligence division here in Mass. I oversee all our active projects and agents. What can you tell me, Aegis? All you really need to know is that we're here to serve and we're the good guys. Our main priority is the safety and security of the citizens and assets of the United Colonies. Fair enough. Wherever they may be. We keep an eye on hmm. Well, everything. Any agency usually feels need to point out a good guy, she's the aunt. Well, you're certainly entitled to that opinion. And there are plenty of others who share it. We'll be looking out for Aww. you just the same. It's Plato? <laughs> no. My parents would never have been so presumptuous. Every agent who joins... Ooh, I'll choose Al! Choose a suitable Wait... Defender. I chose this for myself when I signed on. I have, of course, since learned that I am not nearly as smart as I thought I was as a younger man. Hey, <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful when choosing your your pseudonym. With the intelligence arm of the United Think of Okay. I mean, I guess in theory they would have known that I was coming. And they're probably watching me at all times, to be quite frank here. Okay. Yeah, Hello. I imagine they would know that I was coming and just put everything away. Right now, that means this last one is one we haven't been to.
All right. As should be said, I haven't been up here before. I probably shouldn't go up here yet because this is where the council is. This is where this is where I've been literally afraid, not afraid, but haven't done the quest to get here though. I was going to talk to him before and say hi. Nice to meet you. I recognize that some may find our security protocols unreasonable. <laughs> I am unfazed by their concerns. I mean, you you are aware I just walked up here, right? Like your protocols aren't that strong. We didn't get where we are by sitting on our laurels. Our laurels, in fact, became uninhabitable a long time ago. Helps to remember that. That's fair. If you have business with my office, you'll need to make an appointment. Sometimes it still amazes me that we managed to make it off of Earth without just up and destroying ourselves. It's never easy, you know. Making decisions that could end the lives of soldiers pledged to your cause. They're almost too good in, what, in some of these guys, you know? I feel like they'll be too reasonable. Like I, I feel like if they're not reasonable, I'd be surprised based on that. Hello. Howdy. Just eating a steak at your desk, casual, casual breakfast steak. Yeah. Fair, fair. And everyone here seems to have um stuff like. Yes. Everyone here seems to get like eye enhancements. Can I get hey. my enhancements? Hi. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh, looking around. Seems like you guys keep a pretty tight ship. I haven't found even a single incriminating piece of evidence or computer system. I mean, I'm quite impressed, if anything. Pardon. I also have not found a quest giver. <clears throat> Which means, realistically, this is primarily here just for... Ooh, here we go. It requires a key. Interesting. So there is a quest to go up here. But, in general, it seems mostly just to be for exploring right now. Hello. In the public space. The opposite, really. Don't mind me, I'm just here to take your magazines and leave. Maybe they realize I'm the hero. I'm a goddamn hero and they just want to let me feel like I'm at home. All right, so with that in mind, we do have something to do, which is we're going to talk back to that guy again. And we got another place to go on Earth, apparently, but we didn't get it for the first one, apparently, in the first place, so, hmm. Okay. So, just going to go up here, talk to this guy again. Why, hello. Oh, I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. All right, well, I mean, it's easy to help. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. Oh. That's interesting. I know. Not for sure. It's all a theory, certainly, but it is completely surprising. Why are they how are they listening to us? Like all good scientists. It's the best we have to go on right now. I don't really understand what you're talking about. To reproduce. Oh. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances. And it oh, horny trees. Vibrations in what you're saying is the trees have wood. There's been no response. Oh. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. To find bad news. See an increase in the strength and frequency of the vibrations. I don't know how much more significant it will become. If there's no response, the tree may vibrate itself and some nearby portion of the city to destruction. Now, as of yet, there has been no response, and clearly, none of the nearby individuals are a correct. So, we go play tree matchmaker. That's what you're getting at. 
the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of... Oh. A near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from the... Uh -huh. Earth, ...to the leaders of Tequila City. Nice. Short-sighted and ill-advised, in my opinion. Oh, God. Of course, you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Well, did it? ...who were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. Oh. Well, Seth didn't. But no, not necessarily. The tree died, yes. But branches were kept. At least one still exists. I think I saw that. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. Okay, so we're going to... We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. Okay. Ah! <laughs> The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of... Hey, I've met her before. I don't know anything about her, but... All right, off you go. But we don't have any time to waste. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, on the plus side... Well, we are getting the tree... Well, well we are doing things with trees that I never really expected to be doing right now. Um, that's a nice easy quest, or at least easy thing. I mean, I know Leah. I've given her like 8,000 credits worth of stuff. The least she can do is give it back to me. And it might need another um, persuasion minigame. So, win-win? Just promise me we ain't going to visit Jacob, all right? I mean, wasn't planning on it, but... Yeah, it's not worth it. That tree is there. That, um... That uh, wall is just too big. I'm honestly very impressed. I know you're tight. It is. It's very nice, actually. Whoa! Oh yeah, that was Bailey. That was Davis talking about Bailey. Hi, Davis. One more mistake and she's out of a job. I thought I was going to be fired for sure, but now I got a whole performance review plan to go through. <laughs> Serves you right, to be honest. Honestly, sometimes you gotta realize that your boss is wrong, and not support him in his mistakes. Come on, come on. Everything you see here is a piece of Aquila City's history. Uh Question. Welcome to the Co Heritage Museum. I offer a brief tour and I'm happy to discuss the city's history as well. I'd like to talk about Tree Ranch. Not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies. I've received some odd messages of late. Yeah, we need your tree to breed with ours. Important botanical work. Tree is upset and consequences could be dire. A tree is upset? Few scientists are something else. Regardless, I can't just hand over museum property. And I must admit I'm not especially inclined to help the UC or New Atlanta. How about me and Sam here? Hey, I get it. But we have to collectively let go of this feud with the UC. And besides, this is really just about a tree and someone who is really, really attached to it. <laughs> Ending the UC? <laughs> it's more than a co. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized nor particularly inclined to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred year old tree. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. I hope Florida doesn't get too much underfoot. Alright, time to convince Leah because I want that tree. I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. <laughs> I don't know. 
I guess it does take up space that could be used for other items. Wow, that was too easy. I can't believe I'm doing this. Please return it in one. Okay, we got the branch. I mean, I'm happy that this is what gave me the persuasion mini game. A couple of them now. But, God, I gotta say, it's really hard to get those persuasions up for persuasion mini game. For persuasion leveling up. Like, seriously, it's hard. It's really hard. stationed here for years now and I'm always finding something new yeah feel the same way fair and mods come into it I hope Aquila City has what we need hello have you paid a visit to Miss Kessler in Aquila City I have yes yes of course I will see that it is returned to her in one piece well perhaps minus a few shavings now I just need a moment to analyze this, synthesize an audio response to our friend here. All right, so we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I'm hoping it's enough. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. Ooh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, speak to Kelvin Frush. Okay. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. <laughs> Wait, how do we play it? I didn't mention singing voice to try. You couldn't achieve the necessary register. Far too low for human vocal cords. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but... I mean, I could probably ask. I'm pretty good with them. If it's uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. I'll take care of it. I have no doubt that you can. I mean, I've already been there just before. And I saw the terminal you're talking about. So I'm A-OK -okay with this. I wonder how many episodes we can get away with full episodes of actually doing stuff that we can get away with without going to bloody neon <laughs> I'm kind of curious as to how, how long I can not go to neon hey you have a new story for me hope to see you again There we go. Now, it said it was too high for the human registers. Does that mean I won't be able to hear any changes? Also, is that a giant seagull? No, but it does look like it in a certain angle. Let's see the SSN's working fine, so... Okay. I realize it could pause for this, but. A 
same token, I'm also <laughs> literally just running across this entire city to, to make a tree get, um, yeah. Hi, Kelton, again. We've done it. I'm already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. And I can hardly believe that worked. Uh, so what happens now? I don't know. <laughs> We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review it. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis. Though they don't know it. Okay. Well, that's definitely the best type of hero mission. A sort of hero mission that no one even knows you're a hero about. <laughs> Oh god, there's so much. Um, however, increasingly, I think next time around, we have to speak to Hadrian. We need to go through and save and stop this whatever is happening. And that's literally all we can really do at this point, because everything else is pointing us to Neon. Everything else. So, uh, yeah. We shall see. We shall see. I suppose, anyway. Also, I kind of do want to see Elos and Paradiso, because I haven't been there either, and they've both been told to go to it as well. Alright, well, I guess that, uh, that's that. So, oh, with one horny tree quelled, we now uh, can wait on and wait for a new day. Anyway, goodbye.